This video is closed captioned. There are numerous idyllic locations to choose from when considering a Mexican vacation. The western and eastern coastal regions offer unique benefits, and the central highlands provide unforgettable views and mild weather. Three top tourist destinations get a lot of attention. Puerto Vallarta, Cancun, Cabo San Lucas. So, which one reigns supreme? Listen in and find out what we have to say about these tantalizing travel destinations. The short answer is that there is no correct answer for a perfect vacation. You are the common denominator in all your travels. You know best what you're most interested in and what you expect your holidays to provide. So, to help you narrow down your choices, we've created six categories to rank our Mexican locations. We'll let you know which city is best for families, partying, luxury vacation, romance, cultural or historical sites, and beach life. This approach acknowledges that all three locations likely have some or all of these aspects working for them, but some have better offerings than others, which will help you establish your priorities when planning your vacation. Best for Families – Cancun Cancun has a seemingly endless supply of all-inclusive resorts, many of which cater to families. Traveling with children is rarely easy, and finding activities that cater to adult and child interests is no easy feat. Cancun's all-inclusive resorts assist with this by offering a wide variety of activities and cuisine that will delight people of all ages. Within the kid-friendly resorts, there are more choices to make, such as the size of the resort or the level of luxurious benefits that the adults can partake in. Local activities can provide entertainment for everyone and can be accessed whether or not you are staying at an all-inclusive resort. ATV rides are an exciting way to explore the area and will get you and the kids up close and personal with the plants and wildlife that are native to the area. Another unique experience is a fun dinner excursion and cruise on a Spanish galleon replica. This incredible evening includes a brightly lit ship you might expect Captain Hook to live on. The adults can grab an alcoholic beverage while on board. Explore the countless cenotes in the area. These sinkholes resulted from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposed groundwater. The most common types of cenotes are caves. The Sakaktun system, located in the Riviera Maya, is the world's longest underground cave system measuring around 350 kilometers and is home to over 220 cenotes. Lastly, no trip to Cancun is completely without seeing Excaret, a large archaeological park designed for kids and families. Embodying the intersection of nature and Mayan and Mexican cultures, there's no shortage of activities here that everyone will enjoy. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new travel video. Best for Partying – Puerto Vallarta Compared to many U.S. cities, Puerto Vallarta is as safe or safer than some locations like Las Vegas and Miami. So it's easy to see how this vibrant city would be the clear winner if your goal is to party like you're on spring break. Once the sun goes down and surfing stops for the day, bars and nightclubs open up all along the main streets of Puerto Vallarta. Live music can be found all over, and DJs fill in the gaps in nightclubs. The lure of oceanfront drinks at subprime locations brings many tourists to the bustling waterfront after hours or to simply soak in the sun during the day. You can bar and club hop all night, staying out until dawn if you are able and interested in pulling an all-nighter. Best for luxury, Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas is one of two principalities making up Los Cabos and is a region full of resorts, golf courses, and luxury living. Celebrities frequent this Baja hotspot as it's only a two-hour flight from Los Angeles. Posh seaside resorts, award-winning spas, and world-class golfing are all available in Cabo San Lucas. Two resorts, the Waldorf Astoria and Ridge Luxury Villas, are among the most elite locations you can choose for a getaway. Entry to the Waldorf requires traversing the longest privately owned tunnel in Mexico, and the spa features treatments that are based on ancient Mexican healing practices. And one of the most iconic lodgings is the one and only Palmilla. It often wins awards as the best resort in all of Mexico, and it is easy to see why. It offers a 3 to 1 staff to guest ratio and standard private butler service, meaning you'll have personalized service at every turn. Best for Romance – Cabo San Lucas when a city has a beach called Playa del Amor, or Lover's Beach, you know it's geared toward romance. 
with year-round sunshine, more than 100 miles of gorgeous coastline, luxury resorts, and relaxing activities. It's no wonder Cabo San Lucas has a reputation as a world-class romantic getaway. Each luxury resort competes with the next to offer the best, most unique, and most romantic experiences, encouraging guests to stay with them. A result is a robust group of accommodations, with even the most basic offering plenty of opportunities to get cozy with your partner. Sailing around the small rocky islets that pop out of the ocean is a great way to get up close and personal with nature. Still, it also offers privacy with your loved one. Charters, tours, and lessons are all available on various vessels. And spending your evening strolling through the weekly art walk is a way to unwind from the day. Wander the streets and meet with some of the city's top artists as they show off their works. Best for culture and history, Cancun. Cancun offers some of the best historical sites on the Yucatan Peninsula. The ancient Mayan civilization is top of mind, and Tulum and Chichen Itza top the list of must-see places. Tulum is perched on the shore's edge, and Mayans use the site to honor the sun and moon. The architecture is incredible, with precisely carved windows that perfectly frame the moon and sun on specific dates each year. On the other hand, Chichen Itza consists of an iconic pyramid-shaped temple in the middle of the densely packed jungle. The ruins of El Rey coexist with modern Cancun buildings, and the ancient ruins of Ekbalam offer nearly pristine plaster work on the tomb of Ukitkanliktok. Even the floor of the Caribbean Sea plays host to historical relics. Snorkelers can check out Punta Nethuk near the end of the hotel zone, which is made up of 33 eerie sculptures covered in varying amounts of seaweed and coral. Nearby, Isla Mejeres has 473 sunken sculptures of its own, but they lay 25 feet below the water surface. Explore this underwater museum of art, also called MUSA. You won't regret it. Isla Mujeres has something to see on land as well. Stroll along the Malacón and enjoy some of the best seafood offered in the countless restaurants, raw bars, and oceanfront properties facing the popular local beach. Also, do not forget to visit the famous Playa Norte, or North Beach, voted one of the best beaches in the world. Best for Beach Life Puerto Vallarta Puerto Vallarta has you covered if you're looking for a place to enjoy quintessential Mexico and all the great water activities you'd expect to find. There are countless beaches to choose from, each with its own unique offerings. A visit to Los Muertos Beach for lunch will have you choose a restaurant that serves food right on the beach. While you sip and snack, you can wiggle your toes in the warm sand and get in some great people watching. The marina on the north side of town is where to head if you want to rent or charter a boat or dock your own. Whale watching takes place here and is not to be missed. And sport fishing will let you try your hand at reeling in beasts like marlin, sailfish, mahi-mahi, and tuna. Launching from Puerto Vallarta, you can easily explore some of the smaller, quieter villages that line the coast, giving you a great view of life in Mexico and access to less crowded beaches. Yelapa is one of these mini paradises, as it's only around 80 kilometers away from Puerto Vallarta. This tiny village is known for its fresh fish served on the relaxing beach with almost no waves and its homemade pies, and you can earn or work off the extra calories with a hike to its famous waterfall. And if you want that extra level of seclusion, Check out Colomitos Beach in the southern portion of Puerto Vallarta, surrounded by the Sierra Madre Mountains and has no facilities or restaurants. So, make sure to bring your own snacks, towels, and anything else you'll need to relax for the afternoon. That's it for today's list. Do you agree with our rankings? Would you swap any of the locations on our list with other Mexican cities that deserve the title Best of the Best? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave us with a like. Subscribing and enabling notifications will ensure that you never miss an upload from us in the future. So, make sure you ring that bell. Until next time.